Hello friend, welcome to CG video tutorial. My name is Shandip Basha and thanks for finding me. In this video tutorial, I'm gonna teach you how to model a coin in Blender using scalable vector graphics program. In this tutorial, uh, I will at first I will show you how to draw this image in a scalable vector graphics program like Inkscap, and then I will use a Blender. So let's go. Now uh, go to Start menu type inkscap inkscap and hit enter inkscap is a vector graphics software uh, it is uh, open source and fully free so file listen poster this means uh, has already been created so how to do it? Uh, just select elliptical tools, create it, duplicate, press Ctrl plus D or in Mac operating system Command plus D to duplicate. And go to duplicate from here, to duplicate and change the color. Select and select this maze and the align tool. You can uh, you can find the align tool from object menu, align tool and align it center. Uh, this is the Indian currency symbol to just select and duplicate. Ctrl plus T. Select it. Select this. And align to in the middle. Just and scale it down. Grab it up. Uh, this then I uh, just create a text uh, select text editor click here and type anything type anything select all go to the bolt and now select At minus one point uh, five. What's happened? Let's put the value zero. Let's put the value minus one point five. Okay. So delete it and duplicate this text uh, scale it down align to center uh, just align it uh, ok <coughs> now duplicate the this circle press control plus D then duplicate this text control plus T then select the text and then select the circle and go to the path menu and intersect Then again, 
duplicate then select it then duplicate is it down uh, just hit the paste down button uh, to your keyboard or you can just click this button to paste it up uh, to paste it up and paste it down paste it down paste it down so click and then click and go to path just difference just make it like this select it and now select this preceding uh, text uh, text delete it select this and select this object and align just okay this line okay it's easy it is and very very easy and uh, now select two circle duplicate it and this image just duplicate on plus D select this and align it just scale it down ok uh, this is the national symbol of uh, our country India uh, the, the symbol is and uh, um, historian says the symbol a uh, the symbol uh, was made by the Lord Ashoka the legend of Ashoka so uh, now I'm creating uh, the, this text so how it will do so just duplicate it you scale it up change the color scale it up and press down to hit press down button to your keyboard and let's enter it again now press control plus s to save your file now go to the text type and dia and dia select all text go to the and go to bold paste it down paste it down the select duplicate with text now 2018 select this and center we stop and select this and then select and go to the text and put on path Okay, select this, select this. This is uh, this is the path holder circle. So to move it to to move this text, just move this circle. We select the text and duplicate, duplicate, and then push go to this text hit spacebar
Okay. And okay. Done. To select the all object and press Ctrl Z to group. Uh, press group this object. Just object and group. Just Ctrl plus Z. Uh, and path to object to path path this object is turned into a path we select all the object and control z to group it and go to the path menu and object to path so uh, when i am using the blender blender needed just a path not object uh, um, uh, i'm um, now I am creating an object by using the path not an object so I am delete delete it this time using uh, this object to save it uh, you can press control plus S or you can press control plus you can uh, control plus Control Shift plus S. Now I am using at dot SVG mesh. If you if you using uh, uh, other SVG or scalable vector graphics software like a Corel Draw, Zara Stream, uh, Carbon, uh, or any kind of software, so you can uh, save this image in dot SVG shift this is dot dot SVG scalable vector graphics software so blend, uh, go to the blender menu uh, blender can export it, uh, this dot SVG uh, format and turn into a format Ta and then turn into a path so save it and close it now it is time to use blender so go to the start menu type blender that's okay what is blender blender is a complete modeling animation and rendering program that ultimately produce a still image a single frame of an animation or a complete movie or TV commercial containing live action composited with computers in added character elements and special effect now I'm gonna import SBG images to import this image go to the file menu import dot svg import It has been imported. So box selection invert selection delete selection this object and scale it up just we scale it just 15 times more
So this file, drop view, worker mode. this object and goes into geometry because this object the origin point of this object is there so now the origin point of this object come here Select the subject and control Z to join. Select the subject, join, join. Control symmetry. Horizon to geometry, horizon to geometry. Okay, so this file. Now select this object. is a vector uh, it is a it is a it is a object with uh, just a curve object this curve object, object this now I'm gonna uh, turn this object into a mesh object to turn it mesh to select this object or C and turn this curve into a mesh so go to edit mode select vertex selected mode all the vertices Point view, extrude and z axis point three. Describe z axis point extrude and z axis point three. Enter grab it in CXC point three. Grab in CXC point zero three. Grab in CXC point zero six. Inverse selection, delete the face. Now extrude, extrude, go to top view, warfare mode. 
slid it down. Scale it down. Go to top view, weapon mode, extrude, scale it down. Extrude. Grab it in C axis. Extrude and grab it down in Z axis. Okay, deselect and press here to look at the loop. Again, go to top view of the mode. Okay, let's select mode, font view, extrude this fade, grab it in Z axis. On view, weapon mode, extrude and wrap it down in Z axis. Just press Z. Select this object. Turn into mesh. Turn into mesh. Turn into mesh. Hide this object. Turn into mesh. And then unhide this object. Extrude, grab in Z axis, grab in Z axis. Inverse selection, face, extrude. 
should scroll it down then press F to fill the face just select press shift plus alt select right click select all the heads extrude scale and pressure to fill the this okay. smooth and add it split then hide this object this object extrude and see point zero three no no extrude Grab Z axis point zero one. Grab in Z axis point zero zero five. The selected mode inverse selection with the face fill the face now select this object press selection vertex selection Warfare mode extrude in Z point zero five. Grab it in Z axis point zero five. Grab it in Z axis point zero zero five. Now add the smooth. Go to add modifier, add split. Okay, then height. Select this object. Edit mode. Extrude. Z axis point zero five. Grab it in Z axis point zero zero five. Press selected mode.
inverse selection to the third face fill the face fill the face fill the face fill the face select this object extrude and hit enter then grab it in z axis 0 0.005 face selection mode inverse selection and delete the face its selection mode fill the face fill the face fill the face fill the face Now all days to unhide all objects. To the top view, select this object and grab in Y axis. Just grab it in Y axis. Okay. Select, select, select. Two point zero zero five inverse selection to the face, red selection fill. Fill. Now go to the object menu, then unhide all the objects, perform more, select these objects, go to the font view, and grab it up it in Z axis. Click this object, smooth, add, uh, go to add modifier and add split. Select this object, this object and this object. 
ये सब से स्मूथ ये सब से स्मूथ ये सब से स्मूथ सो आई एम गना एड दिस एट स्प्लिट ऑल इन दिस थ्री ऑब्जेक्ट एट द टाइम so first select this object then this object then this object and last select this object which have been already added uh, it's this modifier so okay Select this object. Now you gonna extrude uh, this object in the same process. Now select this object and select this object. Duplicate. Grab in Y. Grab in X axis. Okay. Select this object. This object. This object. This object. This object. This object. Go to another layer. Go to layer four. Select this, this, and delete. Select this subset and go to in this layer. Now select this subset, this subset, and this subset. Put front view, wireframe mode, and grab it up in Z axis. Grab in Z axis. So this is the process uh, you may can tell this is the technique to uh, modeling a coin using dot svg uh, vector graphics uh, image so now Cursor to center, this add plane, scale it just a bit, 
Then add a lamp. So, modeling has been done. Render preview. Okay. I create this model using dot uh, SBZ, I uh, mean scalable vector graphics image using Inkscape. So share this video, like this video, and do not forget to hit subscribe button to check out some of my other interesting Blender tutorial videos. Thanks for watching. See you again.